What's up everyone? Welcome to IPA's first ever virtual VBS. I'm Stefan, and if you didn't already know that, but uh, I know the past couple months have been kind of strange for everyone, you know, because of quarantine. But, you know, that's not going to stop us from learning more about God's wonders and having fun. All right, so right from the back, let's just go ahead and dive into the theme for this year, which is, well, let's just look around for a little bit. It looks a little bit like a wilderness, wouldn't you say? That's right, the theme is Wilderness Escape and where God provides and guides. And for the next three days, we're going to be learning about trusting God. And with the first day, it'll be how God gives us what we need. For the second day, it'll be about how God gives us strength. And finally, for the third day, it'll be that God is with us. All right? So next up, we're going to go ahead and get into some songs. All right? So stand up with me. But right before, we're going to go ahead and pray. Dear Gracious Heavenly Father, thank you, God, once again for this time, blessing all of us who are watching and with us here, Lord. I pray for the days that we have to learn about you ahead and this day as well, O oh God. We give it all into your hands and may the children who are looking upon, Lord Jesus, learn more about you. Thank you, God, once again for what you're doing. In your name we pray. Amen. Come on, clap your hands. Here we go. That's it.
sing me through. I will trust you. I can't do this journey on my own. I will trust you. guys hey that was really fun dancing with you guys but you know next up it's time for a great story and you know what let's get right into it good evening welcome to the daily news show where we bring you your news daily my name is Freddie Brown and I'm Finn Ocean we hope you are all having a great evening and now our top stories COVID-19 has been ravaging the country, and many are losing jobs due to the economy downturn. Upwards of 41 million Americans have filed for unemployment, and while things seem to be becoming normal in some states, the economic crisis isn't over. That's right, Freddie. While people keep losing jobs, people are also getting very sick. The U.S. totals to about one 5 million cases of COVID thus far, with over 150,000 deaths. Scary stuff, right? Yes, Candace, quite frightening. We are now getting a breaking news that murder hornets have entered the United States. These murder hornets are from the East Asia region and have quarter inch stingers and I, I'm out! I cut the cameras! Cut the cameras! In other news, in Dallas County, we have... We... Cut the cameras! Cut the cameras! What, what, what happened, Freddy? What happened? What's going on? I can't take this anymore. This news is too much. 2020 has been trash. I'm scared of what's going to happen next. People are losing jobs. I've been, I've had to learn how to homeschool all three of my kids, and now murder hornets. Is this too much? Okay, okay, okay. Just, just breathe with me, okay? Inhale, exhale. Inhale, and not, not holding it all in. Inhale, exhale. Come on, let it out. There you go. There you go. Okay, breathe, breathe. We're gonna make this. We're gonna get through this. All right. How do you know it's going to be okay? Nothing has been okay this year. Freddy, God hasn't forsaken us. We might think that everything seems horrible right now, but God is always with us and is always going to take care of us, no matter what. You know, Freddy, Finn is right. Remember that story that we learned all that time ago back in Sunday school? When the Israelites were traveling through the desert and Moses was so afraid and slowly started turning their backs to God. And God still provided them with water, and there was no sign of water around, and provided manna and quail for them to eat. <sighs> but how will I know that God will provide for me? Well, you know, we have to have faith. 
Having faith requires us to believe something, even when we can't see it right in front of us. We have to be confident that God will do what is in his will for us and believe that everything will be okay in the end. I guess you're right. Yeah, you know, Freddie, there are a lot of great things that are happening in the world, too. Look at these news stories on my laptop. Even if we have to see it on the news, nurses, doctors, and other healthcare workers are working hard to take care of people. You know, cashiers and people who work at drive throughs of your favorite fast food restaurants and grocery stores, even, are keeping the, econo the economy functioning. And people are getting another chance to live their lives after recovering from COVID. You know, the environment is even getting better. I know you've noticed all those bugs buzzing around at night. That's way more than last year. And it's because people are not on the road and out about as much. Hey, you're right. There's a lot of good things happening, even though the news doesn't show that as much. We should start reporting on the positive things happening in 2020 more. Yes, sir, you are right. You know what, I'll go ahead and put that on your script for the rest of the news broadcast, all right? And we're gonna be back in two minutes. Okay, let's pray before we go back on air. Thanks, you guys. I feel so much better knowing God is always in control and will provide for his people at the right time. Try to remember what Philippians 4 6 says the next time you feel anxious or frustrated. It says, Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. All right, guys, we're back in five, four, three, two. We apologize for our interruption earlier in this program. Now let's get back to today's daily news. Thanks, you guys. I feel so much better knowing God is always in control and will provide for his people at the right time. Try to remember what Philippians 4 6 says the next time you feel anxious or frustrated. It says, do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. All right, guys, we're back in five, four, three, two, we apologize for our interruption earlier in this program. Now let's get back to today's daily news. Wow, guys, wasn't that story amazing? I hope you saw some familiar faces in it. But, you know, it was cool learning about how God gives us what we need exactly when we need it, right? So, I hope you guys are excited for what's next. Arts and crafts. Let's go join my friend Jevin for what he has for us. Welcome to day one of Arts and Crafts. Today we're going to go ahead and create Moses and the Red Sea. And today for the uh, craft, you're going to go ahead and print this sheet out um, with all the characters that we will use today to create the diagram. Um, if you don't have a blue sheet of uh, construction paper, go ahead and take any blue piece of paper and color it blue so you can use this for the water that we will use today. And also um, any yellow or brown piece of paper that you can use for the land. Uh, so when we, this can be the foundation of our entire um, process today, all right? And the next process that we need, um, next items that we need are a glue stick or um, liquid glue, any type, and also a pair of scissors, and any color pencils that you can use to color um, the characters. Now this craft is one of the most fa famous Bible stories, Crossing of the Red Sea where Moses and the Israelites tried to escape captivity from Pharaoh. And you can start coloring um, all the characters that were printed on the sheet. Uh, you can color it any sort uh, that you want. I choose to color it in this way. Um, right now I'll be coloring the donkey. The donkey will be colored brown with yellow and black for the saddle. But you can choose any sort of color to actually color any of the characters um, that represent anything you want to see. All right, this is my final product. I have colored all my characters. And now we'll be moving on to the next piece of our craft, which will be the blue piece of paper. The blue piece of paper will be folded in half and cut along the line. Please be careful with the scissors um, and ask your parents to help you if you need to. Once you have cut the paper, uh, folded the paper in half, go ahead and cut it through the middle. Once you have cut it through the middle, go ahead and separate the two pieces as we'll be working with one at a time. Now 
Now that we have cut the blue piece of paper in two, take one piece and move the other one aside. Now take the cut blue piece of paper and fold it quarter of the edge like I am right now. Grab your pair of scissors and make cuts, but don't cut it all the way through, just enough or to the fold. Now that we have cut slits into our blue piece of paper, take each slit by itself and start rolling it. This will be our waves that we will create and you'll continue to roll all the um, strands that we have created like this. When Moses and the Israelites try to escape captivity from Pharaoh, Moses assured the people. In Exodus 14, 13, 14, it says, Stand firm and you will see the deliverance of the Lord whom will bring you out today. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Once all the rolls have been created for the waves, go ahead and flip the piece of paper and take the folded part and fold it on the opposite edge. Once you have folded to the opposite edge, crease it very well and take your glue bottle or glue stick and apply glue onto that flap. And once you have applied the glue to the waves that we have created, go ahead and stick it to the edges of the yellow or brown piece of colored paper. Make sure the waves are facing towards the center of the paper. And at the same time, we're gonna go ahead and do the exact process to the other piece of paper that we cut. And when you finish with this as well, go ahead and glue it onto the yellow piece of paper and make sure that the waves are in the center of the paper so we can put the characters in. We just made part of the Bible that states what happened after Moses stretched out his hands over the sea, where the waters were divided and stood like a wall on their right and left with a dry ground to walk on. Now that we have made the part of the splitting sea, go ahead and take the character sheet out and your pair of scissors and start cutting them out. This will be a demonstration on how to cut the characters. First, you'll go ahead and take your pair of scissors and cut across the dotted lines, then fold across a solid line, and once you have folded it, cut across the dotted lines around the character to create the figure in which you will be standing. Now that we have finished cutting up our characters, make sure to cut them very carefully so you can have a presentable um, craft today. Now you will be taking the bottom rectangle of each of your characters and folding them upwards so that we can make them stand.
Now that we have folded all the bottom rectangles, go ahead and take your glue stick or glue bottle. And now we're going to go ahead and glue the bottom pieces that we have folded. And you'll do this to each of these characters, just like I'm doing right now. And once you have put the glue on each of the characters bottom um, rectangle that we have folded, you'll go ahead and stick it to wherever you want on the yellow or brown construction paper um, or as we call it, the land part of the craft. Good job guys, hopefully you are at this step that I am at. Um, make sure to glue all the characters down. If you are not at this step, go ahead and feel free to rewind and fix any mistakes that you might have had. Man, God sure gives us what we need at the right time. Thanks for coming you guys. Remember, Isaiah 62:22 says, When the time is right, I the Lord will make it happen. Wow, guys, look at the craft that we made. Wasn't it really cool doing that and learning about how the Israelites, they trusted God when they needed him, and God provided a way. He made a way for them, right? All right, so next up, my friends Anne and Justina, they have something to show us. Let's go see it. Hey, guys. Today we're going to show you what it's like to trust God. I know it can be difficult to trust God sometimes because we can't see Him, but I hope our demonstration lets you know that we can trust God even if we can't see Him. So, you trust me, right? Yeah. Okay, so what I need you to do is take this Ziploc bag full of water and hold it over your head. What I'm going to do is I'm going to poke a hole through the bag. You trust me, right? Yeah. So, do you think I'm going to get you wet? Yes. All right. We'll see. Ready? Three, two, one. Did you get wet? Nope. Crazy, right? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'll take the rest of the pencils and I'll poke it through. Do you think you'll get wet this time, though? Uh, yeah. Okay, well, we'll just gotta try. Ready? Three, two, one. Did you get wet? No. It seems impossible, right? Well, go ahead and put the bag down. A lot of times in life, we feel like our lives are being poked. Our family gets sick, our friends move away, and right now, the, the world is going through a pandemic. It hurts, but a lot of times, believing in God is just like believing that you're not going to get wet even if someone pokes a bunch of holes through a Ziploc bag over your head. And we can trust God even if things are going horribly wrong because God loves and cares for us. Just like it says in Proverbs 3 verse 5, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. We really hope this demonstration helped you understand what it looks like to trust God. Bye! Bye. Tell me
Hey guys, thanks so much for joining us today. You know, we had such a great time. And you know, before we go, let me go ahead and pray us out. 
Jesus, thank you, God, once again for this time you've blessed us with to be able to learn about what you provide, O oh Lord, and what you give us in the perfect time of need, O oh Lord. Thank you, God, once again for protecting us and allowing us to be here. And I pray for our days ahead. In all these things we pray, amen. And hey, don't forget to join us tomorrow at the same exact time. And let me go ahead and give you your supplies list for tomorrow's Arts and Crafts. It's going to be salt, liquid glue, liquid glue, one black construction piece of paper, paint brushes, and paint. All right, guys, see you tomorrow.